out. Guest, be our guest. Put your service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we'll provide the rest. The bryozoa is a moss animal that can usually be found in a marine or freshwater ecosystem. The bryozoa has characteristics such as bilateral symmetry, a truly colon, no circulatory system, no gaseous organs, and excretory system. Bryozoas also have a central ganglion ring in their nervous system and are regarded as plants. The first major group in the bryozoa taxon is the phylactolemata group, which has the following characteristics. They are cylindrical, have an epistome, which is a hollow flap found over the skin of the mouth, a non-calcerous and muscular body wall, and it lives exclusively in freshwater ecosystem and produces by replication of polypeptides. The second major group found in the bryozoa taxon is the stenolemata group, which has the following characteristics. They are cylindrical, have a calcified body wall with no muscular fibers, and live in a marine environment and reproduce by the division of the septa. The final major group found in the bryozoa taxon is the gymnolemata group, which can be cylindrical or squat, have no epistome, have a calcified non-muscular body wall, mainly live in a marine habitat, and reproduces by growing points by formation of transverse septa. Bryozoans eat minute planktonic particles that are captured by its tentacles as they spread like a funnel with a mouth at the vertex. Shorter cilia on the inner side of the tentacles assist in the transport of food particles toward the mouth. Bryozoans are aquatic protostomes, meaning their mouth develops first before the anus. The bryozoan life cycle typically comprises of a larval stage, which metamorphoses into a sessile adult that proliferates by asexual budding to form colonies. Bryozoans are typically immobile, but they can use their tentacles to move if need be, such as a stimulus or a predator. They're expected to live anywhere from 1 to 12 years of life. And just a unique fact about bryozoa, in New Zealand, some buildings are made out of the Omaru stone, which is 99% bryozoa skeletons. And also bryozoans can be medically significant, such as for anti-tumor agents. The bryozoa originated about 480 million years ago. The bryozoa colony starts out by a single zoid, which may be produced either sexually or asexually. When the original zoid begins feeding, it buds to form additional genetical identical zoids from forming a colony. These are the phylogenic trees made in lab. Nadaria is the closest relative to the bryozoa according to the phylogenic trees. These two trees differ because the characteristics are similar with the circulatory system, digestive system, and tissue layers. They differ with the body cavities. Uh, the nadaria has no body cavities, whereas the bryozoa has a true colome. Uh, they also differ with locomotion. The bryozoa has a crawling locomotion, and the nadaria has a jet propulsion. The image being shown is the phylogenetic tree found from our literature. When comparing the tree found in lab to the tree found in the literature, some differences that can be seen is the varying organisms that the bryozoa are closely related to. For example, the tree from lab shows the bryozoa is related closely to nadaria, whereas in the tree shown, it is closely related to phrenida. Differences between trees are due to the many evolutionary factors that affect the regeneration of new organisms. Here are two images of the bryozoans in their natural habitat. Build by the science guy. Build by the science guy.